There's only six diodes. So let's grab the diodes out of the bag here. And this would be a good opportunity to clean up here while saving three of these. Let me save a more just in case I lose them. I've got other wire I can use, but I'm gonna try to do it the manual's way. Put those in the round file. And grab on some diodes here. These are the four in, I think they're four in 7,000 water, something like that. So what I like to do, instead of dumping the whole thing out, just grab some tweezers. Although I may end up dumping the whole thing out at this rate. No, eh, 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 almost. There's four of them, I got two more in here. Okay, so there are six of them, and these are dead simple, guys. Um, if you look on the PCB, it shows very clearly the stripe right here. Let me try to get this in better focus. There we go. It shows very clearly the stripe right here. That stripe correlates exactly with this stripe. So all we're gonna do is we're going to, whoa, the wind is like crazy today here. I'm just gonna take these in a pair of pliers, very gently in a pair of pliers, mind you, and bend the leads down. very gently. All I'm doing is holding them. I'm not squeezing tight or anything. And just bend them down. Okay. And now just go to insert them. Make sure I get the stripe the correct direction. Put it in. And I'm going to bend them this way to make it easier to solder them so they're not in each other's way. Get this the right direction. I almost put that one in backwards. That would have stunk. There we go. And those don't even need uh, to be bent. So I'm just going to go ahead and insert these or solder these as they are here. All right, there we have it, all the diodes are in. And if you may have noticed that I angled it around a little bit to stay away from the SMDs, like just now, uh, there's, I wanted to stay away from this SMD capacitor here, so um, I moved the board sideways so that I didn't have to do it. So now, uh, or you know, didn't 
didn't uh, accidentally touch it. So now it's just go a matter of clipping some leads. Okay, there we go. And that one is way too high up. In fact, all of these are, but they don't need to be flush. That's the thing. I didn't really tighten them down too much. If I really wanted to, I could just hold these and push on them. I'll do that for one, just so you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna push on this and just warm the solder. I can do it for all of them real quick. It'll only take a second. Just warm the solder, push. Warm the solder, push. And this one is really far out, so this one will most benefit the most here. And warm the solder, push. Warm the solder and push. Ah, much better. Now I just need to go reclip those few. There we go. Ah, there we have it. Much better. Not absolutely perfect. I think these are better because I tightened them down. I should have done that with these, but it all worked out in the end, didn't it? So the next step is going to be, let's see, let me go check the manual. PA transistors. 